Okay, so we are working on the project. Kendrick didn't want to do the intro, but that's okay. So you should already have your graphs that are, that you have your equation at the very top, and then you should already have your graphs. If you don't, then you need to do that first. After you have both graphs, what you're going to do is you're going to make a new graph for Julissa. In the original problem, Julissa, lose, Julissa wins. And what we're going to do on all of these graphs is we're going to manipulate the y-intercept, the slope, so that the, um, so that the winner is always Karen. So if you look, this one right here, did you do it correctly? Yeah. Um, so this one is Karen. And we need to ensure that Karen wins the race. So on this one, this is Karen's graph, and she finishes the race in 24 minutes. That should be your x-intercept at the very top. You're going to make a new graph where Julissa loses the race. So that means that her time, can you stop? Her time is longer, is more than 24 minutes. So for this one on the left-hand side, your y-intercept has to be 35. So it has to start at 35. You are creating the slope to ensure that the x-intercept is more than 24 minutes on the one on the left. The one on the right, the slope is negative 5 over 2. You're creating the y-intercept so that, again, she loses the race. Julissa has to lose the race. Her x-intercept has to be more than 24. Okay, so you're creating Julissa's graphs here to ensure that Karen wins and the x-intercept has to be more than 24. On the other side, you should have Julissa's graphs and you're creating Karen's graphs. The y-intercept for the one on the left has to be 8 and you have to make sure that her time is less than 14 minutes because it takes Julissa 14 minutes in the original problem. You have to create another graph so that her time is less than 14 minutes. On this side, your slope is negative one-third. You c you're choosing the y-intercept so that your x-intercept is less than 14. Because again, Karen needs to win the race in all four graphs.